Welcome to online training session on fire insurance from Insurance Training Center. This session will discuss about basic principles of fire insurance. In this module you will learn Fire Insurance Introduction Definition Fire Insurance Contract and Basic Principles of Fire Insurance Fire insurance business has been defined in Section 2 of the Insurance Act, 1938 as the business of effecting, otherwise than incidentally to some other class of insurance business, contract of insurance against loss by or incidental to fire or other occurrence customarily included among the risks insured against in fire insurance policies. The subject matter of fire insurance may be any kind of movable and immovable property having monetary value, for example, building, furniture, fixtures and fitting. Definition of Fire Insurance Fire is a good servant and bad master. Therefore, it is a most expensive source of insured losses. Fire may be defined as a chemical reaction which is accompanied by the emission of heat, light and smoke and a combination of these is called a flame. There is said to be a fire within the meaning of fire insurance when there is actual ignition. The fire is purely accidental or fortuitous in origin so far as the insured is concerned. The fire has burnt, damaged the property of the insured. To start a fire, there are three essential factors colon. There must be a flammable gas and vapor. There must be oxygen present. There must be source of heaty dot g dot flame or a spark. So where the above conditions are fulfilled, there is a damage by fire whether by fire itself or by heat or by smoke generated by it is covered under fire policy. Fire insurance contract may be defined as an agreement between the insurers and the insured whereby the insurers on payment of premium by insured undertake to make good the financial loss subject to the sum insured suffered by the insured as a result of damage or destruction of the insured property by fire or other specified perils during the policy period. Fire insurance contracts are governed by the general law of contract and it must have the following features in order to make it enforceable at law colon. Offer and acceptance. Consideration. Agreement between the parties. Legal competence of the parties and. Legality of the contract. The fire insurance contract is also governed by the following principles. Utmost good faith. Insurable interest. Indemnity. Subrogation. Contribution. Proximate cause. Utmost good faith. The insured has the duty to disclose all material facts which have a bearing on the insurance. A breach of this duty may make the contract void or voidable. The duty of disclosure continues throughout the policy period. This principles also expect the insured to act as if he is uninsured all the time and takes care and safeguards his assets from the perils. Following a loss, he is then expected to salvage as much of the property as possible.
Insurance Training Center is the first Urdu accredited training center in Kolkata, wherein we have trained more than 25,000 students. ITC founded in 1993 has been conducting various training program on various subjects in insurance in both life and non-life insurance. ITC has been sponsored by the Insurance Times, leading journal on insurance and Sarsi publications. We have been conducting both online and offline training programs. Launching Certificate Learning Courses on Insurance on Fire Insurance Marine Insurance E-Motor Insurance Reinsurance Underwriting Claims Management Life Insurance Risk Management In the Certificate Learning Courses you will get an idea about the whole subject and get practical inputs. These certificate courses is self-learning study material. Our faculty have prepared the material in easy and simple language. It will be really beneficial for persons not getting enough time for study. Study as you get time. You will get to user ID and password wherein you can view the online material. Training course will be available 24 by 7 for 90 days since date of enrollment. You can view the training module anytime you wish. After the end of courses you will have to appear for online exam and after successful completion of the exam you will get a certificate. Who can attend these courses? Employees of insurance companies, insurance brokers, TPAS, BPO, IT companies, new recruits in insurance companies, Agents, surveyors, banks, students, and any other person who wants to gather knowledge in insurance.